All right, that was a good one, but now we have switching sides. Oh my, oh me, oh my. So we're gonna have to play this one a bit by ear because I don't think I can even interpret this. Looks like red car goes, then we have a hydraulic, then yellow car goes. Red car, then yellow car. Okay, we have 12 pieces of bridge, which I'm guessing We have two left over. Okay, so so I when I've done r bridges like this in the past, I have made the mistake, I think, of not recognizing that I could do small articulations to make this work. And so what I think we want to do here is I want to take... Let's get rid of the trace tool. I want to do this. I want to do this. I want to find the middle. And then I want to put a road. Directly over the middle of this. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna do, hopefully this is gonna be, that's three roads. Do I have enough to do that? I don't think I do. I think, excuse me? Oh, I think we're having, we're having gridding issues. Is this as big as it can go? It is. Don't like I don't like the way that that one that one gets there. So if we do, I guess we have to do this again. So if we do one two three, and then one two three, that's going to be seven, and we only have twelve pieces. So we can't exactly do that. So I think that the the play is we need this needs to be the structure. And we can't really get away with anything. Wait, is this slightly askew? <laughs> Are they? Now I think they're just messing with me. So this is slightly different. So red car. Is red car just going to its goal? Where the heck is red car's turnaround? I'm, I'm just shocked that this doesn't copy, or this does copy to here, okay. But this one, I think if we cut it and we flip it, it works there. But if we cut this one and flip it, okay, it works there too, okay, cool. So, so then what we need to do is we need to create these so that they rotate. So this is, this is our initial configuration. So let's just get some triangulation going. And get a nice regular old bridge, hopefully, that is cheap and holds. And then we're gonna have to figure out how to rotate these around like a central pivot point. Cause I think that's gonna be the easiest solution. Okay, so we, we will definitely need to increase the height of our trusses. That's not the end of the world. We'll probably end up needing to go with steel just because I think there's gonna be some strain when we do this. Okay, so you stop there. Okay, so, oh, there is a red stop sign behind this as well, I see. Okay, good to know. So let's see, so if we do... So I'm gonna go back on the grid and I'm gonna do non-triangulating. Is this the halfway point of these two? Th 
this is right here. Okay, so let's copy this, flip it. That can go there and then copy, flip this vertically. Okay, so I think hypothetically This is now rotating around this central point, which I think also has made this insanely strong. So I'm gonna make our, our trussing really, really small. Let's see if that works. Yeah, it's the, the steel is carrying a lot of the weight. So now if we just, I mean, if we just willy-nilly grab this and have that contract, what's that gonna do? You drive there, stop, okay, split joints, are optional. The steel needs to be locked in place. The steel needs to be locked in place. So when this pulls, why would this break? We can just get rid of those two. But you are pulling up on this, which should rotate this around the center, because I think all of these are disconnected. Like the only point of connection should be Okay, so there's some weird flexibility to this design. If we just Can I just do a single piece that goes like that? Wait, oh, but now there's nothing connecting this to this. Okay, maybe we do a single piece here. No. I think this needs to be a piece directly across like that. There we go. I think that might work. Ooh, something's staying connected over here. Uh, I think I I think I had the wrong piece there. Okay, let's try that. Way too much rotation, but I don't mind what just happened there. Let's contract by like 20%. It does look weirdly unstable. I was expecting it to be more stable than that. Yeah, that middle part. So we need to find a better way to create an anchor in the center here. I'm going to do like, whoops. Something like that. And then I want. I don't know if that's symmetrical, but let's see. So if I do, if I do that. This can swing back and forth, but it is relatively constrained. And then if we wanted to, I think we could probably lock this in to just about anywhere. Make sure that the rope is locked on that split joint. This will have to be a split joint and this will have to be a split joint. And then we do need to still pull the pull the thing. Let's do like a 10% contraction. It doesn't seem like we needed much. I'm going to make that hydraulic significantly shorter. Okay, we need to probably bolster the size of these. And then 10% didn't feel like enough. So we'll go 20. little more than that but most of this is going to be hydraulic sequencing once we get it so let's let's just start since we know this is this is coming anyways 
Grab the trace tool, we'll do this, and then break it into thirds, make it rope. And I'm going to start with one hydraulic like that and just see how much its full contract is. Oh, my word. That's pretty. Okay, cool. So, this monstrosity can be copied. I don't even think we need to flip it. Eh, we might want to flip it just because I think the first thing that's going to... Well, actually, now that I think about it, the first thing that's going to do is swap. So it goes like this, and they both swap. Okay. Then red goes to there, yellow goes to there. Okay, so the problem that we have is that the ropes don't create a positive force. So we may need we may need to use a full hydraulic on these so that we can get the retraction that we need. So this was like we I think we wanted like 25%. Okay, let's try that. All right, 25% was correct. Okay, so far so good. Okay, so... So in the phase after the restart here... So here, I think we just want to stop that one from going. Okay, I got it backwards, I think, but that was that was the correct phase to be manipulating. So let's do that. Oh, no, we want... Okay, so at that phase, we want both of them to articulate. Both articulate there, and then you don't swap here. Maybe? I think I got it backwards again. Yeah. Oh, wait, the green needs to go up here. Uh-oh. Yeah, that's that's tricky. Okay, so let's let's do a quick save of this bridge, because uh, I think I'm I'm seeing the error of my ways, which is never never what you want to see. So how much road wiggle do we have? Okay, we we do have some road wiggle. So I think what we need to do, we need to get on the grid, and we need to see about about getting two like that. Because we, we need more flexibility than my original design offered up. So, I, I had an inclination that we needed to go this way. So yeah, so I want... I think I want only these two parts to to rotate. So what that means is that we can have a relatively simple arm looking doohickey here. And we're not going to need any split joints in the middle of this because We're gonna have, I think, a hydraulic here and a hydraulic here. And then maybe it's just enough to do steel there and steel there and just make sure that's locked, make sure that's locked. Lock that and lock that. So this is going to expand, or this, this one in this stage is going to expand, this one's gonna contract. 
we're, we're gonna have to tweak the the exact shape here but let's let's see what just happens here initially so you go up like this and then okay too much too much on both of these so rather than doing it that way I'm just gonna I'm gonna tweak the length of the hydraulic because that's the more efficient way to do it okay too too little here so we want this one to get a little bigger and still too much here so I'm gonna go like that and like that okay we got the lock there but too much over here still. Gosh, still too much. How do we... Oh, I guess I can move this over and then I can get that like that. Somehow miraculously still too much. And now this triangle is starting to be the the bad kind of triangle. Okay, but that all locks in place, which is good. Okay. We we don't care about that, because that's fine. That's that's gonna be this is gonna be a copy and paste job like that. And then now we just need to get phasing working correctly. So you go up here, these rotate. You go down to the bottom, like that. That was a little, little spicy with the, the donking there. Then you go up there and you go up there. And then now we're gonna start getting into that. Ooh, you just barely make it, which we like to see. We'll keep going. Got a refrigerator on top of your car. Okay, so the right-hand side at this phase of things needs to change. So when the green car restarts, this side is correct, but we want to lock this one in place. So when the green car restarts, we wanted to lock this one in place. But both of these switch, which means I think we also got the wrong phase. Yeah, they both switched. I think this is the correct place to do it, though. I don't like the way that, that bonks itself. Anyway, yeah, why did that... Why did I go like that? And then also the... The nosedive on the green car is not great. But... Do we need to go one phase earlier? And lock that in place there? Okay, that is what we want. But now we need to watch the disaster. Oh no, spacebar doesn't do what I thought it did. So you're so we're gonna get this nice U shape, which is what we want. But now this thing is going to brutalize the. Okay, it's straight straight flipping over there. Now, the green car is the is one of the only cars that goes here. So what if? Oh, we're out of roads. Oh out of roads so this I feel like we can tweak that without changing the nature of the of the of that so maybe we can find a way to make that work we may stop this car from being able to get up by doing anything at all there yeah wow this car only just barely has enough but we're really we're playing with the butterfly effect with the green car right now that's all we care about 
is getting the yellow car has to be able to get up whatever we make. And then the red car needs, or the, the green car needs to be less violent in its descent. Maybe something like that. Any, any tweaks are, are making the, the yellow, part of the yellow car's journey harder. Gosh, that, that green car really comes off with a with a vengeance. And we could ask the question, like, what if that just doesn't destroy the bridge? But I think it's gonna have it's it gonna end up on its roof regardless. Hey, thank you for the follow. Hassan, welcome. How goes it? Okay, so that's that's no good. We need to find a better way to do that. Now if we if we just shift this up like a tiny bit. Haas, you got it. Or Hase, you let me know. Hase or Haas. Okay, so we're just hoping that we catch like a little bit of extra. Oh man. Haste? Okay. You got it. Let's see. You a Poly Ridge player? So I'm trying to think if there's a way that we can. Nice. Yeah, I'm I'm just working my way through Twisted Turnpike at the moment, and uh everything about this level is going pretty straightforward, except for this green car that is just absolutely taking a nosedive into the bridge. Let's see if I can if I can see anything. Like I don't think it's uh, not specifically, but like I uh, I love Alien Rocks' series on that. Yeah, so we just get that. So how do we how do we stop that from happening? I've certainly hit half budget on plenty. I usually shave to whatever degree I possibly can, but uh... so the the problem the problem obviously is that like we if we shift this, we're starting to shift our pivot point, but we may need to, and then that's also going to make the yellow car's job a little harder. So we'll try that. So you're saying raise this whole area? I'm a little worried that the yellow car... Uh, okay, so we need we obviously need a bit more... Oh, we're at full expansion already. Hmm. You're saying this one here? Try that out. Okay, that, that does play well. So the hope is, is that I guess this will... You are still gonna make it, but just just barely. So let's see if this catches the close closer for sure. Okay. We're we're pretty good. I think I think we can keep tweaking this. I think that was a good suggestion. Moving this one I is gonna be problematic. Uh, raising the other one changes the pivot point so that we'd have to retweak the uh, the connections. So I'm I'm inclined to try and get this one and see if we can just get it to slide more easily. Yeah, that's, we're kind of, we're close on that one. So we can do we can do a little bit on that side to try and further tweak it. But yeah, that, that immediately stalls out the, the yellow car. So we can't quite do that much. We'll take that down a notch and then gonna a little bit of butterfly effect with this node here. See if we can get something that will intercept the green car's nosedive. Okay. 
Yeah, hmm. Can do a bit steeper there. Maybe we're better off with this being all on that side. Excellent, roguelike. Welcome back. I have a sneeze brewing. Lost it, though. Yeah, and there's, there's not a lot of wiggle room that we have with that yellow car, unfortunately. It only just barely ekes out getting up here. But I'm hoping that... Really? Are you still... Yeah, so anything left of center feels like it really stops the yellow car in its tracks. Okay, it did make it over that one. Oh, I appreciate that, uh, Hase. I appreciate that very much. Would love to have you over there. Maybe, maybe we go down a bit? I, I'm going to try going down. So far, I've only been arching that up, and maybe... No, that didn't play well. So the other option, although more expensive, would be to have another hydraulic that actually changes this pivot point after it's landed. Man, that that top heavy that top heavy green car is is a son of a gun. Do do tell. I'm I'm all ears. All right, give that a little bit of an arch. We is good. We is good, Hayes. I, uh, I I always like to think of these as a as a collaborative effort. I mean, I like that it held here, and and I know that if we go any higher with this one, we're gonna start to get yellow car problems. Hmm. Shift that over a little bit. Yeah, Jeep Jeep is the problem, but if we do too much tweaking, if we do too much like so for instance like if I do this rogue, like let's say let's say I do that, right? The the yellow car is not going to make it up this incline. See, it gets stuck. So, we we have very little latitude for how much we can tweak these pieces. Uh, put a road that brushes the car up a little so it slows down. Uh, this level has no more roads. Uh, haste. So we are at zero roads. So I would have thought about doing some type of catching road up here to adjust the velocity, but we we literally only have the roads. Now, we might one thing we might be able to think about is I think the cars are slow enough that I don't know that we can make that work. But like we can go we can go up as high as that probably and the yellow car will still will still play well with that. Now, see, we beach it over here. Now we could we could lessen this one down a little bit, but to see if we can get the yellow car. Okay, that gets the yellow car over, but but still. Hmm. We are so close. So the jeep. The Jeep has to come here, then it has to go to there. So, I don't love to do it, but one thing I think we could potentially do we, we need something that's going to slightly change the trajectory of of the the green car. So we could put like another one here that just contracts maybe like five degrees to slightly change the incline and then only put it on the final phase. So it's it's gonna act just as a normal beam for all of the early phases, but then in this final phase, it's going to slightly change this. So this is gonna... Oh, nope, I was wrong. 
Hold on. I got the... I think I got the phasing wrong. Wait, why does blue... Why is there one more restart for blue? All right, we'll get there eventually. So that's not going to be there, but on this phase, I'm going to do that. And I think I've rethought... Am I contracting or expanding? Okay, I am, I am contracting right now on this. Instead, let's expand, like, three degrees. So the, the idea is, is that we're going to change this to add a little bit of a road catch here. Yeah, see, the, the problem is that breaks the bridge. So let's... Actually, let's expand. But let's... In this phase, uh, disable this split joint. So that it won't... Because I think when it's clicking, it's it's causing undue pressure. Nope. Okay, let's try let's try, try contracting this instead. By five degrees. Four degrees? All right. This is a very expensive solution for, for this problem. Yeah, okay. And without that, it's no good. Uh, they, they were originally... I, I did everything on grid lined up initially, uh, roguelike. So now I'm just tweaking within kind of the confines of what we can do. So we can do something like that. I mean, so this is as close as we've gotten. But he goes head over heels. So we could, like, this is an insanely expensive solution, but we could cause this to contract like five degrees only on that last phase. So this is going to potentially raise the whole bridge up just for that final one. Oh, split joint problems. Okay, so what should happen is, after the yellow car gets here, this is actually going to raise the whole bridge up. Now, this this is going to be miscalibrated, obviously. But see, this pulls that up like that. Yeah, but the problem is that pulls these pieces because there's a fixed amount of... Because it's pulling too much this way. So we could pull up more. But we're starting to get into very expensive territory here. Because the roads, the roads are static length, right? Which means that... I think this being a dip is not good. I think we... I want to watch the way that the Jeep comes off of this. So let's... Let's slow it down. So that clicks into place. Okay, so the Jeep, as soon as it comes off of this edge, is going to be sliding forward. Yeah, so getting... Okay, so getting this as high as possible I think is going to be the most important thing. I feel like this, this joint really does need to rotate. So, if that has to happen, whoops. Get rid of that. So, first of all, let's make this slightly above, like that. And then, what I think we're going to do is put this like this. With a very small hydraulic. Lock that piece in place, lock that piece in place. So, I just want to see. We're just going to watch what happens here when this contracts. Yeah, okay. So, that, that causes it to raise up a little bit, which may be all we need. So, this is going to expand 
Is it like 45%? I'll try like 40%. So we want it still, we want this, this first time we're not gonna use this on any of the early phases, but okay, that, I think we wanna pull a little bit this way. to get it to click into place. No, no dice. Now, is that ruining both connections? Hey, Felix, how's it going? Welcome. Yeah, so they are, they are both maladjusted once this thing goes. And we do need to... So this one's expanding too far, so we should cheat this over a little bit that way. And this one is expanding too far as well, so maybe we'll do that. And that's in the right neighborhood, but the, the problem is, is now our rotation points are kind of like messing things up. So we'll try, I'm gonna try tweaking that just to see if we can get enough. So I think if, if we want this to work, we need to take this copy flip flip like that so that now when it rotates it's rotating around the center okay let us make sure that we have a piece of that then the steel needs to be locked there and the steel needs to be locked there wait something something that's not supposed to be connected is connected Wait, this is road, this is road. Oh, this is, that's the steel piece. Okay, that, maybe that will fix it. So my hope is, is that this is gonna keep it rotating around the center point there. Whoa. Ah, uh, these, this connection isn't. There we go, maybe, maybe that will create a triangle that will kind of keep, hold that in place. Ish. So I don't, I don't love that. I'm going to go, let's go all the way back to this design. Obviously we have some sequencing issues that we need to fix. Not a lot though. And then we immediately get back to the nosedive. We know that this is the sequence where we need to disable this one in order to get that U-shaped bend. The absence of extra hydraulics. What uh, what part of the world are you in, roguelike? That you uh, that you had an earthquake just now. Uh, we have a lot of earthquakes here in the Bay Area, but I don't think I've uh, I've noticed any today which could just be me being oblivious. So, okay, so the question is, if we, if we move this up just a touch, that's going to change the pivot. So this no longer connects. Yep. So we need a slightly longer joint there. Still doesn't connect. Slightly longer still. Let's see, it, do it doesn't connect anymore because I think we need to move that back. Okay, now it's going too far. Now it's not going far enough. Okay, we need to move this back even a bit more. Make sure we shift that back. How does something break over there based on our changes? That's always a little nerve wracking. Let's see. Just... Okay, 
Okay, we need that to expand just ever so slightly more. This yellow car is well tuned to ruin our day. I really want I really want this one to to link up. This needs to expand a little bit more. We're at 50 expansions, so the way that we do that is by shifting that a couple of pixels. to connect we move that down just a touch which will also help out with the yellow car okay then we shorten that run a tiny bit i can't believe that's not connecting and we have and we have the yellow car body slamming at awkward moments that was way too much of a move Now, green is going to absolutely decimate this because it's not going to lock in place. Yeah. Okay, so we're back to the drawing board on actually making this connect. So... So here's the problem. If it's not... If it's not symmetrical... Getting it to link up in both of these locations is going to be very hard. Like, there, there really is only one place that, that this can be for this to link up in both locations, and it's the location that we have it in. Any, any tweaks that we make of this thing's location is going to cause it not to rotate in a way that lands on both. And this not being connected here means that this guy's going to wreck everything. Which we could... We could at least experiment with the possibility of just reinforcing this. Just, just to see if, if we can actually take the abuse from the green truck. Hmm. Man, this is... This is spicy. Okay. So let's... Let's get rid of all that. Let's copy this. And then I'm at least thinking that maybe we and what if we just raise the center platform up during the final hydraulic phase? Where's my where's my expander for this one? Hydraulic phase, we will disable U2 there, disable U2 there. This is the one where we want them to go, and then disable them there. But then we clearly don't want them to be... Yeah, this, this one is still contracting, so that's the, that's the challenge. There we go. Now it's... What did I say I was expanding on over here? We'll do expand 10% on both. Replace that there.
The problem is we can't change the amount of hydraulic that we're moving. Yeah, I don't think that works. Because the, the quantity of hydraulic movement is fixed. So I kind of feel like we're back to... to tweaking like that just to see. Oh yeah, they re-added these. We, we can also try just seeing if we were to give it a good landing. I mean, let's... Let's go ham, just for the moment. Full steel. We have a nice strong base. Let's see if we can, like, maybe have it roll intentionally. I mean, it, it supports, but now the issue is... the issue is, is that we get beached. Hmm. So, I mean, the next approach that I'm thinking about is going to a single point in the center here and making it flat. But I don't think there's any way that the green vehicle plays well with that. The Jeep is a big problem, is true, true, true. It's just deeply unhappy. And the problem is I do really want to use all these split joints, but like I don't, I think we have to move this road. So if we do that, so now we have we have our standard thing, and then we just say you're locked on that final phase. But now I'm gonna try this again. So for the final phase. Could, oh, maybe this works. Maybe we just put a hydraulic here that expands like 25%. And so here's what I'm thinking. We come to this phase. We don't operate either of these, but we push this in this phase only. So it's gonna angle the bridge up. Nailed it, okay. Some of my finest work. There we go. So here's what I'm thinking is going to happen. This bridge is going to stay static, but this is going to push the bridge up. Okay, so with this with this one operating, we also want to lock this split joint so that now it should push it actually up. Uh, okay, so so we do need, on this phase, we're also going to need, I think, okay, I think we just need, this, uh, this hydraulic just needs to be located differently. Yeah, 
Which I think we can do. Like, we can do something like this. To, like, here. Expand by 50%, and then... In this final phase, we're not going to change any of these things. You're going to push up. This is going to stay fixed. So we're hoping that this pushes this up to like here. Okay, all kinds of lock that, lock that. Wait, why would those, why would these break? Ah, because that's not supposed to be articulating until here. But those may need to be cable, because I, I do think there's like a load-bearing aspect to that. What's what's hanging off? That's locked, that's locked. There we go. So when this pushes up, if you're locked in place, ah, uh, this steel needs to let go. This should be a two, everything else should be a one. And then that's gonna do nothing, do nothing, do something, do nothing. So the idea is now that when this pushes, this needs to let go. Okay, everything swaps back. Old taxi cab that could. Okay, so let's slow this down. So, okay, right off the bat, this breaks this piece of steel breaks because yeah we're, we're pushing this up okay so same deal over here all twos except for this one this piece of steel needs to also cease to be a part of our bridge okay and this this is make, starting to make me question the the steel entirely maybe we should be doing everything with something like this that kind of holds it in place okay so release release What is, what is getting pushed up right now? Only the piece of steel. Okay, wait, so I did that backwards? Yes, two, there we go. Oh my gosh, that is weirdly good. Minus this breaking, obviously. But hold on, we, we're on to something uh, here, actually, which I did not expect. But wh why is that road breaking? Let's try and see if we can see. Okay, so right now, that swings off, that swings off. So you start pushing. Okay, so that is, that is just strain. Which, which I think, given that this is going to be a more of a load-bearing device, I think we'll do this. Okay. Here we go. So, big money, no whammies. It's kind of close. Kind of close. But this is under a lot of compressive strain that we, that we, weirdly, we can't fix easily. Because we can't, 
I mean, like, I can put another steel triangle here. But I don't think that's really going to help. that this is contracting so why is it something something is locked in place remove first jeep touch steel not not sure i understand what that means necessarily Pause it here. So, so this is pushing. This is this is not articulating. I don't think right now. This is rotating around this point. That's our goal. We want this to rotate around this point. A third derivative. I think that's the second time you've told me that. <laughs> I I enjoy them though. I find them very meditative. How's your day going? I feel like I've been seeing you playing a lot of Baldur's Gate 3 lately. I'm really excited to get back into that tomorrow. So this distance is less than it was when we started to push it. Glad to hear it. Glad to hear it. So we could create we could create some type of overbrace. No, I mean, we really can't. Hold on, let me look at my hydraulic phases. In this one here, all we're doing is pushing. Oh, and I need these to be active because we need to drop the two of these. Oh, not what is uh my steam has been has been excitingly full of you playing something lately hasn't it am i am i losing my mind what what have you been up to oh backpack hero is awesome i'm looking forward to the big uh the big update so, okay, so I think what might be happening is that when we drop this piece of steel, the strain on this piece is just too much. And I'm not sure how we, how we could fix that. We can, we can obviously move this around. We could push from a different location. That's probably the correct answer. Let's try, let's try pushing from here instead. But probably not right away, obviously. Like, don't go, don't go, definitely go, don't go. These are still locked. Now we need to watch very carefully as to what happens here. Okay, so... Okay, so why... Why is that breaking there as we start to push up? That's a piece of steel, too. I mean, the further over this way we push, it feels like the the better. So maybe let's, let's try pushing into this piece of steel. Okay, 
that clearly I forgot to disable my hydraulic phases. Oh yeah, and then we're, we're gonna need that to return to normal. But then I think we are gonna wanna push a little further. Okay. So it still breaks this road. I just want to see if that alleviates some of the some of the tension. This is an interesting dangly bit we got there. No, that we always get a weird compressive force here. Hmm. Back to the drawing board once more. Pushing through the structure rather than instead of with it? Hmm. Let's try... I'm going to try just a big... This is, this is very expensive, but I'm, we're only using it for testing, so we won't, uh, we won't keep it around for long. But I, I want to try pulling the bridge just to see if we can if we can alleviate the strain. So don't pull, don't pull, definitely pull, don't pull, and then in this one we'll get rid of that too. Oh yeah, and then we know this isn't going to work because we're. Wait, didn't I say don't pull? Don't pull. like actually confused as to why so if we if we do this like this this large over support here that is admittedly very expensive technically we don't need that and we don't need that because on this side this should be supporting that same node This, this is a split joint and we're we're releasing things so that's better Ooh. Don't, don't love having that breaking but I'll try and make a slightly bigger stronger thing. Okay, so so thing number one, you're not going, you're not going. Don't release. I'm gonna try doing away with these pieces entirely. For this side. So this at least gives us some new flexibility. I don't know if it's gonna be end up being cheaper, but... All right, now mistakes have been made here. So let's, so immediately... This is arching up, this is pulling up, and it's not breaking, which is a beautiful thing. One speed is a little less than we than what we need. Hey, thank you, third derivative. So I have a uh, a big surprise coming at twenty five hundred subs that I have not announced yet, uh, or I guess maybe I'm announcing right now to a very limited audience. Uh, but yeah, I'm I'm excited. I'm going to be doing a bit of a, a rebrand. Uh, at 2,500 subs, I have uh, I have a new logo in the works and a variety of other things. So, 
It's gonna be it's gonna be an exciting time for the channel. Twenty five hundred is just the beginning. We we have taken a little break from some of the more bespoke content that performs better on the channel, so that's uh, that's something I want to get back into. It's just life has been a little crazy. Okay, so that wasn't that wasn't great, but honestly that. That might work. So this phase here, I need you to re-extend. And then... Wait, wait, what happened here? Oh, this hydraulic phase is disabled because I'm not doing anything. I think we need all of those to go during that phase. Why are you... Okay, let's add all and, and then we'll figure it out later. But I think right now, so we're we're giving up on landing the landing the connection there. We still want to go further, I think. Yeah, God, this this Jeep is the bane of my existence. I just want to I want to go out on a on a limb and say that Jeep has given me heartburn. That's that's a pretty darn smooth transition there. I mean, we can get away with putting some steel there. This this is going to be painful just due to the amount of, like, cost of steel for this over-support. That should be pretty darn smooth. Oh, my word. All right. I I yield. Let's do that and see if, see if we get it. Because we're going to have final hydraulic phases to do, and then we're going to have, like, a, a boatload of tweaking to do. Okay, so final phase, things got weird, but that's because we have done literally nothing on the final phase. So final phase, we want you to re-extend, you to re-extend, you to re-extend. We, oh, we do want that to disconnect because this needs to come down to here. Gosh, that, that looks correct, actually. Uh-oh, that's not a good sign. So we we release from there. This looks like oh, it's just it's super late to the party. Holy cow! So this part is in free fall. Maybe that just maybe that just absorbs the pain. Okay, so this rope is slack, which means that when this split joint releases, this falls. So let's see if we can see that here. So the second this guy hits this. Okay, so this releasing means that now this is falling. See, and then the, the rope tightens. Which is like a huge impact. Okay, so we may this may need to all be steeled against that impact. Because that's that's gnarly. If this breaks, we're gonna we're gonna have a hard time. And we're also like nearly at budget. Okay. 
So it fell down and snapped this piece of steel. Not, not ideal. Not ideal. Okay, so I think rather than a rope, we have to use a second hydraulic. Which we can make shorter like this and then just have it contract less. And then we can probably go back to a mostly wood construction because now we're not going to have any big impacts. We'll start with that though. Uh, that hydraulic is clearly misstaged. Off, off, on, on. So that's, that's just an issue of, of ratios. So let's copy this. This is like a third. So the max contract is 50. So a third of 50 is 16.6. Hopefully that 0. 0.6 doesn't matter. This side here is pulling too far. Let's go 45 and let's lessen that to like 13 and I will just do that. Hey, PD stop motion, how's it going? Bob, Bob to you as well, perhaps? Question mark? Uh, these are all words that rhyme with, uh, with Bob. Okay, so we want even less contraction out of this one. Maybe like that. I mean, you you have a uh, you have cornered the market on OB words. You got that going for you. Okay, no, that's not far enough. like 37 and 13. The problem is, is that getting these ratios correct is going to be very important to not snapping the bridge. Unfortunately, because we have a, a fixed point on the left hand side here. So, so you're, you're contracting, which is causing a lot of pressure here. I think I think this is a speed of contraction issue. Yeah, I think we need this to contract more. So interesting. This one seems to be doing a lot more of the heavy lifting than the other one, which is not the way that I wanted it. Maybe because this is smaller, it needs to contract more. Maybe I've got this backwards. On this phase here, we could we could have this one raise it up as well. I kind of feel like this 
this is just a mistake. Now we had the rope here. Which we could put, maybe put it there. And then, I don't remember how much uh, contraction we needed on the, wait, that was weird. Oh, that causes it to shift back and forth. So we're better off maybe putting it here. But then I think this definitely needs to be a steel V. Yeah. But I guess here at least we can get it relatively vertical. Wreaking havoc on something always, it seems. I'm really surprised that doesn't connect. Can't quite get these aligned on the grid lines because this doesn't reach. I guess if we go down to like, oh, that one's not on the grid line, that's why. Okay, let's try, let's try perfectly vertical ones here. And then can we still cross brace that? Okay, so definitely, at least with our current level of contraction on this phase, we get rid of that. Baden Blues, welcome back. How's it going? What's the good word? <laughs> Diabolical from the sounds of it. Okay, we need we need more contraction here, which we do have more contraction in the tank, so we can do that. Something is nothing. I mean, hard to argue with that. Or is, the question, or is something nothing? I don't know. Okay, wait. So something is nothing, but nothing is something. Do I agree with the first part of that? I'm not sure that something is nothing. I agree that there's a way to interpret nothing as something, certainly. Okay. Still not, still not quite there. I think we need to go up a peg on those, and then if we turn off the grid, are these maxed out? Those are maxed out. But the word is a something. Yes, I would agree with that. Both noth the words nothing and something are definitely, uh, definitely exist. And words are things. Maybe this is more, this might be more rigid, even though we're going a little less high. So I got the same amount of pull up, which lets you go across. Now this is where things are gonna get bad. So by dropping this, We, we decimate everything. Well, because this is... Because these are now identical... Maybe, maybe we get away with only one over here. That's, maybe we're just pulling from the wrong side. Let's see. Very bad. <laughs> Very bad. Let's see. So now this side should stay in tension the whole time. Hmm. 
no idea why this got off grid. But we'll put it back. Okay, so that's this is this is good. I think this is I think this is actually very good. So I think now we can go for a smaller over support here. The algorithm has my back. That's what I like to hear. I I need all the help the algorithm will give me. For sure. Okay, good good connection there. Well, I'm I'm glad you found your way here. For sure. Welcome welcome to stream. Who knew that Polybridge streams would be on the menu? I've had a few people swing by and say hi, which I appreciate. Okay, this is this is where things get a little hairy. Ooh, I like that. That's nice and smooth. Let's hope that the uh, that the Jeep agrees. Of course not. Okay, slightly too much contraction. We'll take it down by 1%. Woof, it's the road that's breaking too. Hey, thank you for the subscription. I appreciate it. <laughs> the Jeep is the Jeep is a pain in the butt, uh, for sure. The uh for for context, the the issue is is I had this mechanism over here and it worked beautifully, except this Jeep would roll over when walk, driving down that very short go about. So, is there any way, I wonder if we, so right now in, in phase four, we're doing nothing. If I, if I just toggle you on, I wonder if there's any chance that that gets us where we need to go. Uh, no, it's, it's too top heavy. It's too tall, uh, Baden, which is very odd. I'll, uh, I'll go back and show you what that looks like very quickly here, because this is... Uh, I'll save this so that we, uh, we have it if we want to come back to it. But, like, the simple solution, right, that gets, like, 99% of the way here is we just do this. Then we come into this, we would go to this hydraulic phase, and we have you not operate. And then check this out. Everything goes great. We, we zip down here. The yellow car comes over this way. We go up this way, the green Jeep goes up this way, and then disaster strikes. You ready for this? Okay, so so this, this looks all good, right? This blue car comes down here, no problem, and this green Jeep just needs to drive down this little incline across this and back up this, and watch what happens. Back wheels off the ground, nose slide, and it rolls. <laughs> it's insane to me. It's insane to me that we are so close. And and the issue, so so my first thought was right, all I have to do is increase this so that the Jeep's angle of attack is a little more favorable for us. But watch what happens to the yellow car now. So this yellow car has about two horsepower and gets stuck. So we never get to see what the Jeep does. So we can only tweak this like two pixels up and down, which is super frustrating. See, because the yellow car barely makes it over that. But then that's not enough to adjust the Jeep's trajectory. Now, normally I would use some type of like secondary road here to change the way that the Jeep drove over this, but we have no additional roads. Unless, I was thinking about this earlier, so what if, wow, there's no way that the yellow car gets up here without a road here. So we need that, so we can't really change that. We can also change 
the the way that the Jeep comes down here. But that's like, I think this only makes it worse lowering this point. And also the yellow car, okay, the yellow car is still getting beached. So we'll take that down a notch. Uh, so the, the issue is, uh, like I've tried fully stealing it, uh, Baden. And the, the problem that we run into is, oops, didn't mean to cancel that. The problem that we run into is that the Jeep ends up upside down regardless. So even if the bridge doesn't break, the Jeep is upside down and we're, we're out of luck. See? So like, like for instance, this doesn't break it, but that's no help to us. Because the Jeep is just still chilling. I could do something like that. I do think that there is a configuration here of this that works. But I don't know what it is. So the the only road that I can't change, Baden, and I'll uh, I'll show you in a second here. Okay, so now I've I've exaggerated the nose slide. Yeah, that's not going to do it. So the only road I can't change is this node here, and the reason is is that there are only. For these two to swing and still connect here, this is the point of rotation for, for these two uh, pieces of the bridge. So if we want those to connect up here, they need to rotate around this point or, or the mirror image over here, but that's not useful. So if I move this point, they stop connecting up top. So so I can I can tweak to my heart's content like these extraneous pieces to try to get it to like maybe nose slide and then roll backwards. But it is, uh, I, I spent a fair amount of time tweaking this one to no avail. Yeah, see that this Jeep is just, it can't go downhill at all. So, so that's why I've started to work on this, the new design that we had over here. That's not the new design that we had over here. This is the new design. So, so the idea here, although it's not working very well, is to change the trajectory of the Jeep entirely. So that hopefully, See, let's see what this looks like. So now we're pulling up here, which is, yeah, that's too much weight for this. Now this can, we can make these quite a bit better braced and more strong. Like eventually this, this won't fly because I would like to get this with a little less than using up all the budget. But let's just, I just want to see what that looks like. Because we've gotten the Jeep over to here in green without a problem. The... So this... This is contracting. That doesn't look like it. That didn't move the right way at all. So let's see. Hydraulic phase wise over here. We don't want this one to fire because this is contracting. We might want this one to fire. It doesn't help that this level has so much before it gets to the weird stuff. Like put the put the top heavy Jeep at the front of the level, please. Okay. Maybe we want neither. Hey, I am. Welcome. How is it going? How are you doing? Are you a Polybridge 3 player? Seems like there's a handful of you floating around today in the YouTube world. Not much. We, uh, we're deep in Twisted Turnpike. 
and uh, and we are having just an insane time with this uh, with this green Jeep that is just uh, just giving us endless heartburn. Let's watch this in slow mo. A Witcher three player, nice. Uh, what do you think of the Witcher Netflix series? I uh, I've been enjoying it, which. Uh, I, I had not played the games before, although I had known of the games. All right, let's let's steal this up just to see if there's any hope for this design. Not loving the Netflix. I I have heard. I believe that the game is better. No question. Uh, I I did like Henry Cavill's portrayal a little bit. I feel like. I think he did a good Geralt, but, uh... All right, so let's see. Yeah, this road is just... So do we... Maybe we pull from the middle here. Maybe that's the... Maybe that's the way. The way forward. So I'm gonna get rid of that, and we're gonna do... We're gonna go back on grid. And we'll line this up with that. And we'll put our pulley mechanism here instead. And we can even put another another steel cable there. This Jeep is an absolute menace. All right, and then, yeah, now we have a hydraulic in the wrong place. Disable, disable, enable, enable. I am a software engineer by trade. Uh, I uh, I spent, I guess, almost 20 years in, in software engineering. I worked at Lockheed Martin and Google, uh, among others. And, uh, and then I decided that I thought it would be fun to try my hand at, uh, at streaming and give that a go. And I've been having a great time with it. Found, uh, found a lot of success playing a game called The Last Spell which if you're at all interested in is uh, is a great one. It has kind of like an RPG vibe to it. All right, I like that. Breaking my steel. Not, not cool. All right, I'm, we, you, you know you're in trouble when you're building steel muscles, but we'll, uh, we'll do it just to see. Manufacturing engineering student. Oh, very cool. What uh what what kinds of courses are you taking right now? I'm super curious. Can't catch a break on on this one. This we can make this rigid. So I guess we'll We'll do that, but at this point, I'm I'm flailing a little bit on this one. I'm not gonna lie. This is the first Polybridge level that I think I am. I have genuinely struggled to get to an even. Uh, Baden, I'm on Twitch right now, actually. So, uh... ooh, CNC. I I've been fascinated by CNC machines for a very long time. That's super cool. Oh, so I think something broke, but I also think we might we might have a have a solution here if we do that and we do that. Hi on Twitch. Is that a Baden? Is that you coming across to the other side? Coming across to the dark side? I live in San Francisco. Okay, we're almost there. So final phase, all we have to do is articulate that one, and we should be good. Yeah, grew up on the East Coast, uh, live in San Francisco now, and uh, yeah, trying, trying my hand at streaming on Twitch and YouTube at the moment. Don't tell Twitch though, That's, uh, that is explicitly forbidden. Holy cow, we got it. All right. That level was a nightmare. Top 13%. Uh, respect. 
Wait, this is breaking? What broke? Hold on, it's not showing me a break, but something broke. Maybe it was this piece of uh, cable. Yeah, so CNC machines and 3D printing are like something that I find super, super interesting. Just like generally the, the machines of manufacturing are insane. And and the uh, I will say like I've used uh, I've used CAD programs in the past, but I have like a huge appreciation. I don't see a break. Oh, so I guess wait we had a success at thirty k, huh? Because our hold on our unbreaking. Lowest budget unbreaking solution. We're we're in the middle of the pack. But I guess we had a 30k solution early on. Huh. Interesting. Well, we'll uh, we'll call that good enough for switching sides. Solid cam and master cam, those are uh, those are the CAD softwares that you would recommend. I'll have to take a look at them. I have been using a lot of uh, Blender. Uh, Blender, Inkscape, and DaVinci Resolve are my, uh, are my poisons, but okay. We'll call that good for switching sides. Let's see what's next on the docket. All right, that last one...